Happy New Year to everyone, and I hope you are all working on your New Year's resolutions. And I think some of you that are watching this video might even have the New Year's resolution to learn and educate yourself more on the topic of credit cards. If so, getting the welcome bonuses on credit cards is going to allow you to get the highest return on spend and accumulate the most amount of credit card points, which is going to allow you to take that dream trip that you've always wanted to take. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the top eight best credit card signup bonuses for January, 2023. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Just to set the stage of what to expect, I'll first get into all the relevant details of each of these signup bonuses, and then I'll also get into all the long-term value that you can get on each of these credit cards as well. The first credit card on my list for the best signup bonuses in January, 2023, is going to be the US Bank Altitude Go credit card. The US Bank Altitude Go credit card does not have an annual fee, and then that card is currently offering a sign-up bonus of receiving 20,000 bonus points if you were able to spend $1,000 or more in the first three months. Those points are mainly gonna be redeemable for cash back, so at a rate of one cent per point, you'll get $200 in value from those 20,000 points. Since the spend requirement for this welcome bonus is $1,000, and then the value that you were able to get is $200, this would represent a return on spend of 20%. In terms of the long-term value on the US Bank Altitude Go credit card, you are gonna get some pretty solid multipliers, especially in the dining category, as you'll get 4X back on dining, 2X back on grocery stores, 2X back on select streaming services, 2X back on gas stations, 2X back on EV charging stations, and then 1X back on everything else. So if you don't wanna pay the $250 annual fee on the Amex Gold card, then the Altitude Go card could be a good alternative as you'll also get 4X back on dining, and then the welcome bonus with 20% return on spend is pretty solid for a no annual fee credit card as well. The next credit card on my list for the best welcome bonuses in January, 2023 is going to be the City Premier card. The City Premier card has an annual fee of $95, and then this card is currently offering an elevated welcome bonus, which you'll be able to receive 80,000 bonus points if you're able to spend $4,000 or more in the first three months. If you're able to use your city thank you points to book travel through the city portal, then you could get a value of one cent per point, which would mean that those 80,000 bonus points would give you a total value of $800. But if you're able to be really strategic with your city thank you points, and you're able to transfer those points out to city travel partners, and you make sure that you utilize some of the best travel partners, then you could get a redemption value of at least two cents per point, which would make that welcome bonus have a value of $1,600. So since the spend requirement for this welcome bonus is $4,000, and you could potentially get a value of $1,600 from the welcome bonus, then this would represent a really high return on spend of 40%. And then since the City Premier card only has an annual fee of $95, but despite the low fee, you can get $1,600 in value from the welcome bonus, well then this would allow you to cancel out the annual fee that you need to pay on this credit card during the first 16 years of having the card. In terms of the long-term value on this card, while well, the City Premier has some excellent point multipliers for some really common spending categories, so you'll get 3X back on restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, flights, and hotels. So this card could be a good option for you in your wallet long-term with those elevated multipliers, and then right now is a fantastic time to get the card with the 80,000 point welcome bonus. Okay, so the third and fourth credit cards on my list for the best welcome bonuses in January, 2023 are gonna be the Chase Freedom Flex and Chase Freedom Unlimited. The Freedom Flex and Freedom Unlimited have pretty much been on my list for every single best credit card signup bonuses video. And I know that can be pretty redundant, but these cards are simply offering the best welcome bonus that you can expect to receive for a no annual fee credit card. Like I said, both the Freedom Flex and the Freedom Unlimited do not have annual fees. And then they are both offering the same welcome bonus of being able to receive $200 cash back and 5% back on grocery stores if you're able to spend $500 or more in the first three months of having the card. Those 20,000 chase points can be valued at one cent per point at the very minimum, which would give the welcome bonus a value of $200. So since the spend requirement for this welcome bonus is only $500, but you would still get a value of $200, well then this would still give you a really high return on spend of 40%. But then those 20,000 chase points are not all that you get with this welcome bonus because you'll also get 5% back on grocery stores during your first year, which is a really popular spending category for a lot of people. So it can be very, very valuable. And then both of these credit cards do have some long-term value as well, as they're both gonna give you elevated multipliers of 5X back on travel booked through the chase portal, 3X back on dining, 3X back on drug stores. And then on the Chase Freedom Flex, you'll get 5X back on rotating quarterly categories. And on the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you'll get 1.5X back on everything. So the Chase Freedom Flex and Chase Freedom Unlimited 
are simply two credit cards that I recommend to a lot of people, especially when they are first starting out, because in my opinion, they're the two very best no annual fee credit cards, and they have a fantastic welcome bonus as well. Also, before I move forward, if you are enjoying the video so far, then do me a huge favor and make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as it helps support the channel and I would really appreciate it. And if you are interested in getting any of the credit cards that I discuss in this video, well then I do have a link in the description of this video that will allow you to get some of those welcome bonuses. So go ahead and check out that link as well as it's a great way to support the channel. But if we move on to the next credit card on my list for the best credit card sign-up bonuses in January 2023, that next credit card is going to be the United Explorer card. The United Explorer card is currently offering an elevated welcome bonus of receiving 60,000 United miles after spending $3,000 or more in the first three months. But this welcome bonus is only gonna be available until January 25th of 2023. So if you're interested in getting this credit card, then make sure to hop on this quickly. The points guy typically values United miles at about 1.2 cents per point, which would mean that the 60,000 bonus miles that you get on this welcome bonus would give you a value of $720. And then when you consider that the annual fee on the United Explorer card is $95, but that starts in year two, then the value that you get from this welcome bonus could cancel out the annual fee that you need to pay on this card during the first eight years of having the card. Plus, since the spend requirement on the United Explorer card is $3,000, and then the value that you could get from the welcome bonus is $720, this would represent a return on spend of 24%. In terms of the long-term value on the United Explorer card, You'll get 2x back on United purchases, 2x back on dining, 2x back on hotels, and then 1x back on everything else. And then you'll get two United Club passes every single year, your first check bag free, and then a $100 credit for a global entry, TSA pre-check, or Nexus. So whether this card gives you enough value long term, it's simply going to come down to whether or not you're able to use and get value from the United Club passes, and you're able to get enough value from the free check bags as well, that can add up to more than $95 in value every single year because that's the fee that you need to pay on this card. Regardless, the elevated welcome bonus on the United Explorer card can be a great way to rack up some United miles, and then you can make a decision after year one when the $95 fee takes effect, whether or not to keep or cancel this card. But now if we move on, I just talked about a bunch of personal credit cards, but now let's discuss some credit card options for people who are interested in business credit cards. So the next credit card on my list for the best credit card signup bonuses in January, 2023, is going to be the Amex Blue Business Plus. The American Express Blue Business Plus does not have an annual fee, and then this welcome bonus is going to be pretty unique because you basically have the option between choosing cash back or points with the choice of either getting $250 cash back or 15,000 American Express membership rewards points if you were able to spend $3,000 or more in the first three months. I would personally go with the option of getting 15,000 American Express membership rewards points because I'm always doing my best to maximize my redemption value upside. So my goal with those points would be to transfer them out to American Express's travel partners and get a redemption value of at least two cents per point. And if I was able to do that, then I would get a value of at least $300 from those points, which would be more than the $250 cash back that I otherwise would have got. Overall, the welcome bonus on the Blue Business Plus isn't the absolute best, but it provides a great entry into the world of business credit cards being able to separate your personal and business expenses. And the American Express Blue Business Plus is actually the next credit card that I plan on getting in the next couple months. In terms of the long-term value on the Amex Blue Business Plus, this is going to be pretty straightforward because it's basically going to be getting 2X back on every single purchase. So if you're looking to enter into the world of business credit cards, then the American Express Blue Business Plus can be a great option because it's really simple and straightforward and has a really good welcome bonus and it can be your catch-all credit card for all of your business expenses. The next credit card on my list for the best credit card sign-up bonuses in December 2022 is going to be a credit card that is basically the business version of the Chase Freedom Unlimited, and that card is going to be the Chase Inc. Unlimited. Just like the Chase Freedom Unlimited, the Chase Inc. Unlimited does not have an annual fee, but then the Chase Inc. Unlimited is going to have a much higher point welcome bonus than the Chase Freedom Unlimited. And speaking on that welcome bonus offer, the Chase Inc. Unlimited is offering a super high elevated welcome bonus in which you'll be able to receive 90,000 Chase points if you're able to spend $6,000 or more in the first three months. You could get even more value, but for the sake of this example, let's just say that you redeem those points for cash back so you get one cent per point for your points. Well, then this welcome bonus would give you a value of $900. Since the spend requirement is $6,000, then the value that you were able to get from the welcome bonus is $900. This would represent a return on spend of 15%. In terms of the long-term value, just like the Chase Freedom Unlimited, 
The main long-term value characteristic on the Chase Income Limited is that you'll get 1.5x back on every purchase that you make. Overall, the Chase Income Limited is a great starter business card and right now is a great time to get the card because of the super high elevated welcome bonus, which according to the Chase website is the highest welcome bonus that the card has ever had. Finally, the last credit card on my list for the best credit card signup bonuses in January 2023 is going to be the Chase Inc. Cash. Just like the Chase Inc. Unlimited, the Chase Inc. Cash does not have an annual fee. And then this welcome bonus is going to be the same, which you're going to be able to receive an incredibly high welcome bonus offer of 90,000 Chase points if you're able to spend $6,000 or more in the first three months. Again, for the sake of this example, let's say that you redeem those 90,000 Chase points for straight cash back, and so you're able to get a redemption value of one cent per point well then this would make the value of this welcome bonus be $900. Since the spend requirement is $6,000 and the value that you were able to get from this welcome bonus is $900, the Chase Inc. Cash would give you a return on spend of 15%. In terms of the long-term value on the Chase Inc. Cash, well the point multiplier structure is pretty interesting. So you'll get 5X back on the first $25,000 spent at office supply stores and internet, phone, and cable services. And then you'll get 2X back on the first $25,000 spent at restaurants and gas stations, and then 1x back on everything else. In addition to the point multipliers, you'll get some other business-related perks, such as employee credit cards at no extra cost, extended warranty protection, and purchase protection. But overall, the Chase Inc. Cash is a great option as a zero-cost business credit card that especially is gonna give a lot of value to people who get value from those 5x categories, and especially right now is a great time to get the card with the super high elevated welcome bonus. But that's gonna wrap up my picks for the best welcome bonuses in January, 2023. But let me know down in the comments what you think are the best welcome bonuses for this month. Also, if you do end up being interested in any of these welcome bonuses and you go ahead and apply for one of these credit cards, then you wanna make sure that you avoid some common mistakes on that next credit card application. So go ahead and watch this video next. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.